Hello, class. Uh, this is uh, assistance and help for uh, Unit 1, Activity 6, the assignment. Uh, question number 3 uh, asks students to uh, to verify using an example that uh, A plus B cross A minus B is equal to 2 times B cross A. And it's a, a representation of the cross product and, and the fact that the cross product uh, with vectors may have a distributive property. Um, you're asked to produce or use a specific example in the question. Okay. And then a general case. Sorry about that. Um, specific example is basically just uh, picking uh, any two vectors. In this case, I let uh, uh, vector A be 3, 4, 1 and vector B uh, be 5, negative 2, 3. Uh, A plus B is uh, calculated and stated here and A minus B is, is calculated and, and stated there as well. Um, a little more serious, the next step is is A plus B cross A minus B. Um, I'll leave that uh, to you, just leave it there for a second. The fact that it uh, does think by way of the coordinates does uh, generate an equal, uh, the vector negative 28, 8, and 52. Now, using that same specific example and those two vectors that, that I, I, I guess made up, but basically just uh, uh, used as an, a specific example, um, then A cross B is taken here, works out to be negative 14, 4, and 26. And don't forget the the factor of uh, 2, that scalar uh, multiple on uh, of 2, uh, then gives us the example negative 28, 8, and 52. And that it's exa exactly the same that we have at the top. So we can make a, a, a statement okay, that yes, indeed, okay, this distributive property on the cross product may in fact work for only a, a specific case for now. Uh, but uh, certainly when you use a, one example of a vector, you have this uh, to be shown, again, using a specific case. It'd be great if it just ended right there, but it doesn't, unfortunately, when you deal with this sort of level of math. Um, specific cases are fine, just to confirm something, but the real math and the real, the real guts of this question is here in the general case, and this is where it gets quite a bit more serious and significant. Here we have to let A equal a vector A1, A2, A3, and B equal a vector B1, B2, B3. And that's okay, right here in the first line of my general example. Okay, it doesn't take you very long to generate a plus b. Okay, and that's here, and also a minus b, and that's here. Very similar to the specific case above, but in this example and in this case, we're using okay um, vectors, general case vectors. Okay, now we've got a plus b cross a minus b. The math is here again. It's pretty serious math. It works all out. I mean, you you spoil on this. You collect all the like terms. Make sure you carefully apply the the negatives and the signs in here. Uh, work it all out. There's there's lots of simplification going on. It does, in fact, and indeed, work itself down. A lot of them, a lot of the terms cross uh, out or, or knock each other off. Um, it does work down to okay this final final line. Okay, trust me, you guys can check the math, but I've checked it two or three times over. It does work down to that final line, and that indeed does represent two times B cross A. Okay. Therefore we can make a final statement that says okay what it is we're looking for. What's wrong with my highlighter here? Well, and that is proven for the general case or general case example. Okay, that's it. And like I said, that's uh, that's some pretty serious math. But that is what is being asked for uh, in uh, Unit One, Activity Six. And uh, specific cases are, are relatively uh, straightforward and easy. Uh, the real work, the real tough math, happens in the the general example. And again, like I said. Uh, it's, it's a tough assignment. It's very, uh, very, very tough assignment, and uh, it'll make um, uh, some of the students in the class uh, uh, really work hard and, and think about uh, uh, general, general case examples.
thanks very much. Good luck.